how, Andy, would you respond to a perception that asks, given that the police service seeks to employ a wide range of people, particularly from different genders, ethnicities, and is it not a bad example for the Deputy Commissioner to be another white middle class man? Yeah, what you didn't say was disabled white middle class male, but um, I, I do sort of qualify if you're looking for a diversity label. But I, my honest answer is that the skills I've got are, are pretty good, actually. I'm, I, I don't know very many other people that have the level of experience I've had within policing and can bring it to, a, to an oversight role. Um, I'm just looking around this committee and I'm wondering how many others who are not white middle class males. So let's not talk about class here because that could offend somebody. But, um, Simple matter is, you know, I, I think I'm the best candidate for, for the job. I have experience within diversity. I, I know and I can communicate with a whole variety of minorities. Um, if there was an alternate candidate who had my levels of experience and knowledge and came with a particular minority uh, background, then hopefully they will be presented in front of you as an alternative candidate. Okay, I'm glad we're not going on the down the middle age road because I have something to say about that. But anyway, Councillor Bajan, did you want to come back as a Yeah, I wouldn't mind just te teasing that a bit more if I might. Um, I'm talking here about a police service that is openly trying to recruit from diverse groups. Um, and you are at the figurehead now, or, or look, if, it's, if confirmed, um, will be at the figurehead. So I, I think that your experiences may well cover a whole range of things, but I think that there is something difficult and that should, we should be acknowledging that. And I'm disappointed that Jason didn't acknowledge that, that we should have perhaps had a different person in this role in regards to providing that mix that the police service itself tries to provide. Okay, just before you, you answer that, I'm just going to ask the legal um, officer to, to, to comment. Thank you. If I could remind the panel that this is um, in relation to the applicant's professional competence and personal independence, so um, questions could be um, related to the candidate in that vein with that in mind. Thank you. Okay. So, um, before I go on to Edward Lee, um, I think that question just needs slightly uh, I think you know, I've said it. Okay. <laughs> Edward Lee. Thank you, Chair. Um, I suppose it really, you would have to accept that being who you are, just as it would be for me, there will be some parts of the community who will find it difficult to approach you, they'll find you unapproachable. Um, you know, whether it's a young Muslim woman or um, someone of a uh, you know, from a traveller community or whatever, they will have their own preconceptions of who you are and what you stand for. And one of the roles, part of the role that's being set up here is to seek and represent the views and concerns of the people of Cambridgeshire. And that's obviously all the people of Cambridgeshire. Um, so I just wonder if you wanted to comment on how you thought about how you would address, um, between the two of you, how you would address that, how, how you will get through to the hard to reach communities who will see you as someone that they can't confide in and they can't trust. Um, I can answer that easily. Um, both communities you, you talk about I, I have good contacts with. Um, I'm particularly um, involved in a community association where um, a whole number of young Muslim women have now started to use the, the facility because of my interaction with their local community and, and with going through intermediaries to, to find a way through to people who, who want to use the facility and as a result I have a good relationship with young Muslim women in my area. I appreciate that's not the whole of Cambridgeshire, but I do have a track record of reaching out to minority communities. Uh, when it comes to the Slovak Roma community, um, a significant proportion of parents from that community have their children at the Voyager Academy. Um, I also have hosted a number of Roma um, community events within our community hall, being the only hall that we're prepared to work with them at one stage. So, um, just judge me by what I've done, I think, and I completely understand it's always difficult for someone from a particular minority community or from a disadvantaged group trying to address someone in power. I completely understand that. All I can say is that I have full commitment to make sure that I'm as approachable and as accessible as possible, and 
might we make efforts to try to reach these groups that have been difficult? Bear in mind, in my, in my previous time, um, I was working with some of the most difficult to reach individuals when I was working on the Prevent Agenda in London. And my responsibility was to get access to disaffected young Muslim men who were turning towards uh, terrorist um, political attitudes within the higher and further education sector. And I was successful in that area. Again, going through intermediaries that had access. So I do understand the issue, I understand how difficult it can be, but I do have techniques to get through that so that I can get that level of representation. 